Good evening and welcome to the Primetime News on MITV. I am Jumoke Michaels. The headlines. National Social Register. Federal government kicks off verification exercise across the country. Ministry submits National Flood Management Plan to Tinubu. Labor shuns Pali with federal government as October 3rd nationwide strike looms on the foreign scene. Maldives election live. Opposition takes lead in hotly contested runoff. Sports. Olympic qualifiers. The Tigress no falls October 5. And now to the stories. The federal government has kicked off a three-week verification exercise across the 8,200 polling units and local governments across the country to fully capture the authentic people who deserve the monies in its national social register. The social register was created for the purpose of cash transfers and other social investment programs. Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation Dr. Beta Edu revealed this on Saturday while speaking at the commencement of National Social Register exercise in Makoko area of Lagos State. Speaking on the credibility of the Social Register, the minister explained that the ministry is working with the state governors to verify and update the National Social Register for the benefits of Nigerians. She noted that work is ongoing in partnership with the local government leaders, community leaders, and some government agencies to identify people in their areas for better management of interventions. The minister maintained that there will be a full verification of the social register to ensure that truly it is the poorest of the poor, those who deserve to be on that list that are on that list. Edu stated that the NSR will be cleared enough and allow the ministry to boldly say it knows these people as they are the poorest of the poor, and whatever intervention is coming, these people truly deserve it. And the president, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, has approved that we go down to the grassroots and ensure that the National Social Register is a true reflection of people who are poor, people who live under one dollar a day, and people who live in remote areas and in areas that truly need help. Those who should not be on the register should be removed. Those who need to be on the register should be included. And so we are taking this as one of the sampling. We're doing both the community targeting and the geographical targeting. This is our first sample, and we have gone round. We have seen that certain aspects of the Makoko was covered under the National Social Register. However, the last area that we came from, they were not reflected on the National Social Register. And so we will be coming back to do a targeted capturing of the people in this area. This activity will carry on across the entire country. And uh, in the hall, we have the nice table of sets. That once you come in, you register, they'll capture you. They're trying to get all the information of their people in Nigeria as a whole, not the party aspects, but Nigeria as a whole, to ensure that we get touch of those people that we need our support, which we are about giving it now down. Tell you again the information and data basis to get in touch with them direct from the federal government to the local, local government level. 